Yeah, Fenris, and maybe you also on the more on the side is sort of getting a in a sort of music historian or a sort of professor in when it comes to yeah. underground music. But uh, are you yeah on the same vibe when it comes to discovering things? Are, is there simultaneous listening to different kind of music? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, since Fenris is. Uh is the friend I've had for the longest time of my life. You know, uh, we are um, we hadn't been such uh, friends if we were uh, if we disagreed too much, I guess. So uh, we are very much into the same way of thinking about productions and uh, about the music and about the albums. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's very easy to be just two in a band because then there's not much argument. You know? But do you have actually ha have a, had an argument with him about something recently? Oh, definitely. Uh, we have, uh, you know, really, uh, really good arguments about stuff, you know. I mean, he's uh, yeah, often thinking like a drummer do, you know. And, uh, but it, the, the argument is not about how the music should sound, you know, it's uh, more uh, more stupid things. <laughs> okay. That is not uh, very beer relevant. not cold enough or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, you made a new uh, album right now. Uh, you said rock and roll, more seventies influenced. Um, uh, yeah. How did it get put together? Well, I think uh, the, the first recording session we had um, on this album, uh, I had a really good feeling uh, as usual, but. Uh, it was something extra, you know, and uh, I think this album is, uh, you know, uh, it's very, uh, it's not cool to say it's probably uh, some of the best things we did, but uh, I think, I, I believe so, you know, uh, the, um, the songs are strong and we have a good uh, good uh, production in our, in our point of view, you know, <laughs> Other, uh, but we, we, can't, we, we really don't belong in the, in the modern scene, you know, and um, that's why we, we're kind of outsiders and uh, we, in our hearts, you know, we, we still belong to the underground and uh, that's where we're comfortable. So. Do you think sometimes you got trapped a little bit in the popularity? No, not really, because uh, we always did what we wanted to do and, uh, and uh, you know, as, as black metal grew very popular in the 90s, uh, yeah, we did our thing, but now we are almost uh, going against the stream again. Um, which is a nice feeling yeah. because we believe we are right and we believe what we're doing is is the right thing to do you know for you so to speak definitely definitely for us and uh, and uh, and people should uh, pay attention and actually um, get into our, our, our new music and uh, yeah can you explain the, the title circle the wagons is yeah. It, yeah, is it? Circle yeah. wagons yeah it's uh, actually I have a it has a Indian theme, actually. I, I don't know um, if any band did that before, but uh, our, um, you know, Dennis Dredd is the American um, artist doing the uh, front covers for the last three albums, including the the new one. And uh, Mr. Necro, our kind of guy on the cover, is now uh, kind of has an Indian things, you know. Native American, you mean? Uh, yeah, well, uh, something like that. Yeah, so. Um, uh, he's done a really good job on the on, on the cover now, and uh, we, we're very pleased. And um, we have definitely a statement or two um, in our lyrics as well. So, which can you briefly explain them? I don't know. It's uh, Fenris and me. We we are uh, writing very different kind of lyrics, probably. But um, we kind of um, probably a bit pissed off. I don't know. At what? Uh, a lot of things, you know, and uh, including all the, um, you know, maybe uh, we have a slap here and there to the to the to the black metal scene, maybe. Yeah. But uh, we we don't feel a part of it anymore, anyway. So uh, we're kind of more um, rock and rollish. Now, you know. Thank you for your time. Yeah. yeah.